So, who I can't see everyone in the room while I'm sharing screen, so I won't do a show of hands, but who here, no, I won't ask the question actually. Whenever I present something like this, whenever I talk to anyone, they always say to me, Rob, isn't the telephone dead? Should I be sending email? Should I be doing digital lead generation? Should I be sending LinkedIn requests? Should I join uh, LinkedIn Sales Navigator? Should I do networking events? The telephone's dead, we shouldn't be using it to sell. Well, I'm here to challenge that. So here at Paragon HQ, we have a whole telemarketing department where every day we can make in excess of two, 300, 400 calls outgoing per day. And I was doing some research early in preparation for this talk just to get the most recent statistics and actually learned that 82% of buyers actually accept meetings when salespeople reach out. Now, as a salesperson, I'm a big believer that every salesperson needs a good array of tools to do their job. No different to that of a plumber, no different to that of an electrician. Every electrician has screwdrivers, hammers, tape, they've got, I was gonna say wrenches, but I think that's more of a plumbing tool, isn't it? Um, you see what I'm trying to say, they've got a whole array of tools. Doesn't mean they always use one tool. Sometimes a job might require two tools, sometimes a job might require three tools. And if we are to neglect the telephone, then we are simply leaving a tool in our toolkit, which is gonna be so fundamentally important during the sales process. Now, of course, whenever we think of um, telemarketing and telephone calls, we always think about those dreaded cold calls, right? We've all had them. I've probably had two this week where I've, apparently I've been in an accident. Apparently, at some point I've been in an accident and I, didn't, I forgot about it, but I've been in an accident. I think that's the kind of general idea that people get into their heads when we think about cold calling. And of course, that's the kind of negative, the, the naughty side to, to sales, right? With a telephone call, where, wherever you put it within your sales process, whether it's the, the initial cold call, whether it's to follow up with a lead, whether it's to follow up with a proposal, in my opinion, it's the most disruptive form of marketing that is available. Email marketing is fantastic and something we always recommend. However, an email can be deleted, an email can be forgotten, an email can be lost. Even today, Rachel sent me an email, immediately deleted it, immediately. I knew, no, I didn't really, Rachel, don't worry. But an email can be lost. Same with a LinkedIn message, same with a piece of direct mail. They can all get lost and, and, and construed, misconstrued. But the second your telephone rings, you look at it, right? You at least look at it. You know that your phone is ringing. If it's a number you don't know, sometimes you might not want to pick up, but sometimes curiosity gets the better of you. You want to know who's ringing you. So you pick it up, you investigate, you start that conversation. It's very hard to ignore a ringing phone. But beyond that, once you engage in a conversation, the telephone call develops relationships way beyond that of the written word. Written word being direct mail, emails, messages, that kind of thing. The telephone call allows you to introduce your voice, your tone of voice. It can bring excitement to someone. It can be a lot more engaging. Simply by slowing my voice down now, I'm sure those of you that have started to switch up a little bit, as normally happens when I talk, have started to come back into the room. If I start to whisper like this, it makes you think I'm telling you something really exciting. Yeah? So you've got all these tones of voices, pitch, speed, everything that an email just cannot do. So what I urge you to do is no matter as part of your sales process, start to think about how a telephone can be implemented within it. Like say, whether it be at the start of the, the sales process, whether it be to follow up, at some stage, pick up the phone. Now listen, we're all, we've all done it, we're all guilty. There is such a thing as sales call reluctance. Normally that sales call or, or cold calling gets to the bottom of the list, right? And we go, yeah, we're gonna hit the day, we're gonna make 10 telephone calls and then, you know, something else comes up, something else, oh, I should probably do that before I do it. I don't wanna bother people. Set yourself some targets, get on the phone and develop relationships. I promise you, your accountant will thank you for it. I assure you.